This week on episode 194, we fly our new drone for the first time and mum pierced my ear with an apple and a pin. Also mum's back in the kitchen cooking up a storm. Wild and free, baby we can dream farther than our eyes have ever seen. After our last drone that we had for over three years decided to go for a swim, we decided we'd replace it with a DJI Mavic Air 2. And this was our first time flying. The Mavic Air was our choice pretty much for cost reasons. Gonna try out a little landing here in Sarah's hand. So this is how we fly off the boat. Haven't done it with this one and we're gonna try it. That's it like I normally do. Yeah, you shouldn't have to hold onto it, it should just land in your hand. Don't lift your hand up or down, it should work. Right? Like you obviously have to get under it where it wants to be. I'm only just pushing down so you'll have to control it. <laughs> That was easy, apparently. <laughs> you want to try and take off out of the hand? Okay. So, so I'm going to take off now, let it go when I want it to go. Yep. That was beautiful! We are, so far, really stoked with this little guy. And after this practice flight, Lee was ready to get out amongst the islands. Lee is slowly getting his confidence back and we have been hanging to show you guys this place from above for a while now. Having a boat as our home means there's always something to climb, jump off or swing from and at a popular anchorage, people to go have a good time at the beach with. Eating food, having a few drinks, and on a good night, someone busts out their guitar and sings. It's been nearly three years since I jammed the blues here with bread and all my friends celebrating. And we got the start of something new here. So every fortnight, everybody lets jam. Well, today I looked over. There I saw a girl in a big ring swinging. I don't think I could ever do that. Fantastic. And we even had Mike on my paddle board first time. He made it to shore in no time. Then after that, he didn't do much because the rocks were showing. So he came out on his knees. <laughs> he came out on his knees, everybody. I was so worried about him dinging my boat, so I said, head for my dinghy. <laughs> It's a lot easier, Mike, to get on that. You will see. It's fun when you jam. We don't have a freezer at the moment, so we have no ice. And Bella wants me to pierce another hole in her ear. So she's got a cold drink bottle on there. She's numbing it all up. Yeah, guys, I'm a professional, so relax. It's scary. Bella has asked me if I can put another hole in her ear. So, I have done this before, but with a, a gun, <laughs> so it's a little bit different. 
She's been numbing it with a drink bottle. The numbing's gone away now. The numbing's gone away. Oh, I don't want to anymore. You don't want to do it? Oh my gosh. You don't have to do it. No, I want to do it. Maybe if you punch me at the same time. Okay, hold on. You want me to do it or not? Yeah, I do. Just hold on. Let me pinch my hair. Do you want me to do it? Yes. Okay, so I've sterilised a needle, we've alcohol swabbed the needle, we've also got her earring alcohol swab there. And just don't do it until I tell you to. I'm not doing it yet, I'm just cleaning it. So you're going to have two holes in your ear? Yeah. So can you just like lightly press the needle just to give me a little idea? Mm-hmm. I'll lightly do it, okay, you ready? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, she did it. Oh. She didn't lightly press it. Oh, it didn't even hurt. Oh. It didn't hurt. Alright, I'm just going to clean my hands again. Oh, you know the grossest, the worst part was the apple. I'm, I'm actually really glad you just pushed it through when I said just push it lightly. Alright, so first thing's done. Now we're going to get the earring in. Why do you have to slowly do it? Well, because i got to follow the, the needle. Right? I don't really like doing this. It's <laughs> gross. I wish I could see. No, <laughs> you're imagining it way worse. There's not even any blood. It's like... Are you sure you even put it through the right hole? <laughs> you just put it through the one that's already there. Yeah. Can, Can you alcohol wipe where the apple's been? Yeah, I will. I heard a pop again. <laughs> yeah, it's into the apple. Apple on... No, no, it's gone. You're done. Hang on, it's not, oh, there's a bit of blood now. Oh, whoa. <laughs> a little, maybe a lot of blood. <laughs> oh, there's a fair bit. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this. Did you film right up in the hole? Okay, yeah. right. It's in it's, it's, the back, mm -hmm. but I'll need to get another back. Are you mm -hmm. right? Yeah. All right, sit up. We can show you. Oh. You got water in my ear. Thanks, Mum. I love my new earring. So today I am making falafels for the first time. Ooh, and what I've got in here, guys, is some chickpeas. I had some dried chickpeas and I've soaked them for four hours, roughly. Chopping up some leek, got some parsley, and then just whack it in there. Boom! A little bit of baking powder, about three of them. Oh, she's making it up as she goes, I think, here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. A bit more, I like cumin powder. Cumin. He calls it cumin powder. <laughs> Cayenne pepper. Just a little bit. It's a little bit spicy. You don't want it too spicy. Some people don't like it spicy. Oh, just another one for good measure. Hey, yeah, you like that? And then you put a little bit of uh, some mint. Just a couple of mint leaves. A lot of that's gone bad. So we'll just use the good ones. A little rinsey roux. Break it up. Break it up. Da, 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 da. And then you just blend her up, whiz her up. Then you put your lid on. Oh, and then you turn it on. That helps. All right. Whiz, whiz. You got a better food processor than me. Okay, wait, take this one. I reckon one more go. It's looking good. Looks good. One more little whiz. Smells nice. Smells the fresh parsley and the mint. There she's done. All you do now is put that in the fridge for 20 minutes. Now we wait for our falafels to um, be in the fridge for a little while. We're gonna go have a swim and I think Bella's on the Lira and we're gonna go fly the drone. Show you guys this beautiful place. about the drone. I'm very excited. Hey.
Welcome back to Kitalpa's Kitchen. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been. But it's been a little while. And this is what it looks like. And it smells really good. What do you think? Mmm. It smells delicious. Amazing. All right. So all you're going to do now, guys, is get stuff out of the way. Grab a fry pan. Right, light up your stove. Heat a pan up. Whack it on there. Let it get hot. It's got just too much going on. In the a bigger boat. All right, so what you're going to do is probably wet your hands. Just move that up. Maybe it'll help. Maybe it won't. They're a bit sticky. But we're just going to put them into little balls. So you're going to shape these into little, little balls. So there's nothing really, uh, I can't really, you know, squeeze it in the palm of your hands. Make a little ball. First, I'm going to put some olive oil into the pan. Drizzle. Actually, you probably want a fair bit if you have a deep fryer, these are nice deep fried. Shallow fried is how we're doing it. So once you've shaped your little ball, that's a really good one. Put it in the pan. Looks good. Just continue to do this. So this is going to take a little while. And I keep adding oil because they're absorbent little crackers. <laughs> you just wait now. So they're nice and crispy and brown on one side, then you flip them over. Okay guys, it's been a few minutes and they're starting to cook up on the one side. When you're flipping, there's a little bit of a tip. Make sure that it's already quite cooked before you flip it. Oh, do I get that? Nice and crispy. <laughs> My skills. But yeah, because if you flip it too early, if it hasn't sealed on one side, if you flip it too early, it'll probably crumble apart. So this is where deep frying would be easier. And the more oil that's in the pan, the better. So you just want to be careful if they're stuck. Just kind of slide it and flip it. <laughs> because I reckon they fall apart really. One more! Oh, success! Shake it all around. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that, guys. That's not helpful. <laughs> that's not helpful at all. Don't get excited and flick it around. Just let it seal in the bottom because <laughs> it didn't work. I was trying to be fancy. Don't be fancy, just be normal. This is my entertainment while I cook. Go okay, baby, it's a tune. Of the stove. Stay with me guys because I'm gonna make a sauce to go with these. Yeah, look at them! They're so easy and this is a really great substitute to put on sandwiches. You can have them in all your meals other like you can substitute it other than meat. They're really delicious. Put these in the fridge or the freezer and they'll last I don't know how long but they will last. <laughs> you could make a double that batch, put them in the freezer, put yeah, I'm just waffling on. Do what you like, but they're bloody delicious and really good. I'm gonna make a sauce, don't go anywhere. Go right there. What you're going to do is, this could be yogurt. This could be cream. This could be sour cream. This could be, could be a lot of things. But what it is, is coconut milk. <laughs> I didn't have any of the other options. So I've got coconut milk. This is mint. Let's throw the mint in there. Chop up. Lemon in half, and then just squeeze some lemon. Get it all in there. Beautiful. Some cayenne pepper. Just a little bit, because it is a little bit. Can be a little bit spicy. If you like it spicy, chunk some more in there. Bit of salt. Wooshka. I'm just gonna keep it real simple. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna taste it. And if it's no good, I might add something else. I'll just uh, whiz that up. So if that's yogurt, you'd obviously don't have to whiz it up. You could obviously stir it. Um, and it'd be thicker. So this is going to be quite runny. I'm just going to taste it. It's quite nice. It's very runny. Um, okay, so it's a bit runny. It's fine. What I'm going to do 
because I don't have yogurt or something a bit thicker. Oh, <laughs> splash it. I'm just going to put some cashew nuts in there. Make it a little bit cashew creamy and it'll go a little bit thicker. Let's see what happens round two, eh? Hey? All right, here we go. Oh, it's a nicer consistency. So that's nice. So if you don't eat dairy, you're vegan or you are allergic to dairy, this is a good substitute. If you have yogurt, use yogurt. You can put some lemon, mint, um, some cayenne pepper. Really simple, really easy, but delicious. So grab one of your little crunchy falafels. Pretty good. Oh, you double dipped. <laughs> It's delicious. Oh, do yourself a favor. Make homemade falafels. Don't talk with mouthful because it's rude. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to leave you with some beautiful drone footage of where we are. Enjoy your afternoon, your morning, your good night. Love yous. Bye. Hey, make sure you um, subscribe and like this video. That'd be real helpful. Bye guys.